Tanyo today and this is my Texas Bard Salamander also known as a Tiger Salamander. So I'm going to make a care video all on these guys today and I'm very excited. These are great beginner salamanders and they are just adorable. So this is Ponyo really quick. And these animals are not really good for handling. You don't really want to be taking them out and definitely not petting them or anything. So I'm not going to keep them out for the whole video. I'm just taking them out to show you guys really quick now. So I'm going to go put them back. So when having the tiger salamanders, you're going to get extremely dirty, FYI. So that's something to keep in mind with these salamanders. So the tiger salamanders are great for beginners basically because they are just so, so easy to care for. They really don't have many requirements. These salamanders do not require any UVB or heating source. They actually prefer cooler temperatures. So for these guys, you don't want to ever exceed 72 degrees for them because that would be way too hot. The low that you can go for the tiger salamander would be 65 degrees. So again, don't go below 65 or above 72. So when setting up an enclosure for these guys, it is said that a 10 gallon works fine for one or you can do a 20 for two. You just wanna add 10 gallons for every other salamander that you're adding. I actually prefer to go larger and I will show you the setup that I have for Ponyo that really helps hold in the humidity well for him and I find that it gives him more space so I like it much better than a tank. So I will show you that at the end. But um, for these salamanders, they basically love to burrow. They're always in the dirt. So again, I use Eco Earth for him and it works perfectly. He burrows all the time and then he'll stick his head out to hunt and eat food and that's pretty much his life. He doesn't really do anything else. He does go in his water bowl occasionally, but you don't really want a full on aquatic enclosure for a salamander like this. I kind of thought that you're supposed to just give these salamanders a ton of water, but Really, they don't need it. They just need moist substrate. And Eco Earth really retains that humidity for them and keeps it moist. So one of the most challenging parts of keeping a tiger salamander is making sure that their water is perfectly safe and healthy for them. So their water, basically, you cannot have any chlorine in their water whatsoever. It's not suggested to use your tap water whatsoever. So you're gonna wanna use bottled spring water that has been chemically treated to get rid of chlorine. And I still use RepdiSafe just to be like extra safe and make sure that it's not gonna be hurting their skin or anything. They are sensitive, they are amphibian. So again, you don't wanna be picking these salamanders up very often. If you have to, you just pick them up under their belly. Make sure that you spray your hands first so that way they're nice and moist and you aren't gonna be irritating their skin. And do not pet these guys. They don't like it and you're just gonna be hurting their skin. So tiger salamanders are carnivores. They eat pretty much anything that will fit in their mouth. So if you're gonna be feeding insects, you wanna make sure that you're dusting that in calcium and multivitamin, as well as gut loading it for extra nutrition. And that's pretty much it when it comes to taking care of these guys. They really are simplistic animals and don't require much. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the enclosure that I have Ponyo in, and I hope that this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. So this is Ponyo's enclosure that I have him in. This is just like a 10 or $12 thing I got at Target. And then I made sure to drill these holes and you wanna make sure that they have these holes for ventilation. You don't want it to get too hot in there, too moist because then it can get all gross and grow bacteria and you don't want that. Oh God, if I can get this open. So this is the inside and I like this because it gives way more bottom space for him to move around. Like he just has so much more space than a 10 gallon tank. And they're not climbers so this is a very shallow enclosure which is perfect for him. He has definitely dirtied his water bowl but never. There's his Eco Earth substrate and he is adorable. He's just waiting for food. He eats non-stop. So this is Ponyo's enclosure.